former White House advisor to Donald Trump, the host of the Gorka Reality Check, right here on Newsmax, Sebastian Gorka, and a friend of the program. Seb, um, a reality check for all these folks that have been, um, you know, grifting in Washington, D.C., government efficiency, all of that sounds fantastic, um, but we know the left is already trying to mock it. Right. So let's be very clear. There's one metric you need to know, and that is what does the establishment, what does the mainstream legacy lying media think of the given appointments? And they hate them. They hate them all. When I was in the White House, I, I was a pariah because I said to my colleagues, I don't talk to the mainstream media on the record, off the record, on background, because they hate me, they hate the president, they hate the 64 million Americans who voted for him. I'm not going to talk to them. And I actually said publicly once, if the Washington Post or CNN ever says anything nice about Sebastian Trump, uh, Sebastian Gorka, every Trump voter should ask for their money back. So when they say, oh my God, Pete Hexeth, or they say, oh my God, John Radcliffe or Christy Noem, that means it's the right pick, Bianca. It also means uh, a big reason why Americans just aren't watching them anymore because they are not listening to what Americans want. Here's a little bit of George Conway and MSNBC's Alex Wagner probably just talking to themselves in some studio in New York. <laughs> Vivek Ramaswamy and Elon Musk being offered jobs in a fantasy uh, football not, league. No. A non-existent like non department, right. Of, of, right. of um, no. the Department of Government Efficiency. Nothing has been more Orwellian in title. It doesn't actually exist. Right. Orwellian, Orwellian. But I want to remind everybody at the woke White House here, these are the people that they were praising. You know, you have Sam Brinton over at the uh, former Department of Energy. He likes to uh, steal luggage and wear women's clothes. You had Queer Eye for the straight guy. They're all, you know, uh, walking around the White House. Lloyd Austin, Secretary of Defense. Remember the image of him looking like Darth Vader with the visor, if we can put that up? There's Tyler Cherry. I mean, go on and on, Rachel Levine. Look at this. This is a cast of, you know, woke madness. The White House that America just rejected. And they are going to try and criticize Donald Trump's cabinet picks? Incredible. Hey, Georgie, uh, do you know that the National Security Council didn't exist until the National Security Act of 1947? Neither did the U.S. Air Force. There was the U.S. Army Air Corps. Neither did the Pentagon and the Department of Defense. <laughs> they were created by presidents and by legislation. As for Orwellian... Can we just give the gold star prize for Orwellian to what this administration tried to do with the government board for mm -hmm. disinformation? That's right. Let's talk about Orwellian before that thing crashed and burned. Well, I mean, it's just so clear that they're propaganda arm. I mean, that's what they're instructed to do by their overlords. And I said that's why their uh, ratings are just... Uh, Floundering. Um, all right, Trump Biden meeting can, at the can, White can we, House. Can, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's, it's not so fast. It's not that they're floundering. Can we just repeat what I heard <laughs> on all the shows yesterday? Newsmax crushing <gasps> these people, just leaving them behind in the dirt. You not know, that they're it's floundering. True. We're it's winning. It's true. It's true. Um, but you know, you can give us the compliment there. I don't want to be so <laughs> self-serving, but yes. It feels good to be winning. Um, and there's a lot of winning happening when it comes to the Trump team. Donald Trump returns today. You know, looking at this sort of reaction with Joe Biden and, you know, I feel like there's such a page and such an opportunity for America when you see this, the graciousness of Donald Trump as well. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I don't think I could do that. Um, the man sitting on the right tried to put the man sitting on the left in prison. Uh, sent his number three from the DOJ to New York to work for Alvin Bragg. The magnanimity, the grace of President Trump yeah. really boggles the mind. And I'm a bit confused, Bianca. Um, how come Joe Biden's shaking the hand of a, a fascist who's a threat to democracy? I'm a little confused. I am, too. I know. And all these people that supported him were just garbage. And he actually stoops to the level of letting right. us in. Information. Truth is freedom, is Newsmax. It's real news for real people.